She was a very caring and loving mother. In that forest, they lived a wicked wolf and the mother goat was always very anxious about the kids. One day, while going out to the forest to bring some fruits and berries for the kids, she warned her kids about the wolf. Dear little kids, be careful about the wicked wolf who may come during my absence. Do not open the door unless you hear his voice or see his paws. His voice is rough and growling and paws are black and hairy. Yes, Mama! Yes, Mama! We will not open the door! Mother goat lives home for the forest. In the forest, she was busy collecting fruits, leaves and berries for the kids. In the meantime, the wicked wolf slowly comes up to the goat's cottage and knocks the door. Dear little kids, open the door. I am your mother. Open the door. and became very angry. He went away to get some chalk and swallowed it to make his voice soft. After a while, he knocked the door in a soft voice. Little kids, my little kids. Please open the door. I'm your mother with lots of surprise for you. Show us your food on the windowsill. The wicked wolf foolishly puts his food on the windowsill. Now the wicked wolf became very angry and ran to John the Miller. Mr. John, Mr. John, I have sprained my foot. Rub some dough and sprinkle some flour on my foot. Hurry, hurry! The Miller was so frightened that he started to tremble. Mr. Wolf! Please, put your foot forward. The miller does whatever the wolf said. Then the wolf did dot again for the third time towards the goat's cottage and again says, Little kids, my dear little kids, now open the door. Your mother is here. Show your food on the windowsill. The wolf puts his foot at the windowsill, hiding himself very carefully. The kids saw the white food and opened the door expecting the mother to come in. But alas, the wicked wolf jumped into the room and caught hold of the case 
one after another and swallowed them without chewing. The youngest kid was quick enough to jump into the grandfather clock and hide himself. The wolf was so busy eating that he did not notice the kid jumping into the grandfather clock. He was quite full with six little kids when he came out from the cottage. Meanwhile, the mother goat was back. She cried out to the kids. Kids, where are you? Where are you? I'm back. She was horrified to see the beds torn apart, broken things everywhere, but no sign of the kids. Good gracious! What has happened? What will I do now? I have lost all my kids. Or is it possible that my poor children can still be alive? She starts weeping in the middle of the room. The 
mother goat puts all stones in the wolf's stomach. I see it began in no time. Then they all ran to the cottage and peeped through the window, closing the door as fast as they could. The wolf suddenly awoke and felt very thirsty. He also felt very heavy and could not walk properly. What trumbles and tumbles inside of me? I thought it was kids, but it's stones that they be. He dragged himself to the river, rolling out slowly. The moment he started to drink water from the river, he slipped into the river and drowned himself. When the seven kids saw what had happened, they all cried out. The wolf is dead! The wolf is dead! And with their mother, they danced with joy. Namunkian <laughs> Martha.